Today we're talking about the 15 minute warm up with the new Yamaha Harmony Director HD 300. When we think about the 15 minute warm up with our students, we want to ensure that we're utilizing not just the engagement of the instrument, not just the engagement of the air, but also the engagement of their ears uh, and getting their listening skills where they need to be. And so the first thing that we like to start with after letting them have a few minutes on their own is we like to jump in with the Harmony Director, a metronome and a drone playing their F major scale descending. For that, we put the metronome at 100, and I voice the F major chord just like this. I use F, C, F, A, C. Again, we'll press the hold button, hold the chord, and then set the tempo to 100 and start. One, two, one, two, start at the top. After we've done that exercise, we want to take the same thing starting at the bottom and working up. Now we're not just paying attention to their sense of, of hearing things, their sense of getting the instrument started and the vibrations going, but we're also starting to think about starts and releases. We're beginning to attenuate where their tension might be in the sound, and if they feel like they have just a little bit of, as they work their way up the scale, maybe some tension through the shoulders or the elbows in the wrist, tension around the collarbone and the neck, they can pay attention to those things and learn where they need to feel so that they can play an ascending pattern without adding too much tension. You'll notice that we have rest in between each. The reason for that is we feel that young students need to start often to come from silence to sound and then to transition from sound back to silence. That transition is really important and what the harmony director helps with is it allows them to hear that transition and understand what that needs to be in tune so that they're not scooping into notes so that they don't have a little yip in the front of the note but they always start it right in time. So again, for this F ascending exercise, we're gonna go back to the harmony director. We're gonna set in F major, press the hold button. We're gonna hold F, C, F, A, C and then we're gonna start the metronome. So now we're talking about the F expanding exercise. We've got everyone set, the vibrations are going, we're thinking about note starts and note stops. We're gonna increase the phrase length from four counts up to 12 counts. Now, over this 12 count, we want it to be one solid block of air. We're gonna start and end on a whole note concert F. The note in the middle is gonna begin by branching away, either up or down, by just a half step. Then we're gonna come back to concert F, rest for four counts. We're gonna start on F again, expand wide and come back. Each time we're keeping the concert F going over here and that F major so that they can hear that drone in F major and understand where that needs to align as we do start and stop from silence to sound and sound to silence and as we jump further away from the pitch, let's see how well they do at not just beginning to tune their instrument but also tune their ears. Once again, same F triad with the hold button and then start stop. So the pass-through 
posture exercise is the next thing that we like to tackle. On this one, we go down the line. We really do a down the line on both the, the Remington expanding as well as the pass-through. We like for our students to have A, B opportunities. So we might say everyone whose birth month is an odd number or even number, we might just go down the line A, B, A, B to identify who's going to play which ones at which times. We use that in expanding but also here in the pass-through. On the pass-through, the lower split player is going to just sustain a block sound concert F for the prescribed number of counts. The other player is going to gradually make their way up the scale. They're not just thinking about vibration and a lack of tension. They're not just thinking about notes, starts, and releases in tune. But now they're beginning to think about the adjusted pitch centers. So they're holding the tonic in tune. And then as we move to the second scale degree, we're going to raise it a little bit. As we move to the third scale degree, you're going to hear individual performers lower it. On the next rep, we're going to switch. So the people who were sustaining the concert F are then going to play the upper split, and the people who were playing that drone before are now going to have the opportunity to play through the scale. Let's take a listen to what that would sound like. Again, it's the very same setup on the Harmony Director that we've used a number of times. F, C, F, A, C on that hold, and then we'll start the metronome. In our last exercise, we want to bring attention to articulation. At this point, we've developed and really worked to get their tone quality going and centered where we need it. Perhaps you might repeat these exercises once or twice based on what their comfort level is. As well, we like to branch these exercises away from concert F. If you're about to start a piece in concert B flat, you can easily adapt the descending scale, the expanding, and the pass-through exercise into concert B flat, concert E flat, concert D flat, whatever key center you might need. When we get to articulation, we view this exercise through two lenses. It's a relationship for the student with the metronome, but it's also an, a sense of ensemble understanding and listening around the group. We like to do it with four counts of rest between each of the figures early on in our development, and then as we get later into our season, we'll start to connect some things together. I've always believed that freshmen in high school should be able to do this at right around 100, sophomores at 110, juniors at 120, and seniors at 130. You may find that those numbers need to shift around a little bit for your program, but for the most part, when it comes to articulation speed and clarity, this is where they all should be. For this one, I don't use a drone. I just want them to focus on timing and the motion of the tongue inside of the mouth. For that, we're going to go ahead and start our metronome at 100 for today's exercise. And two, and articulation. Once we've taken the, all of our students through the warm-up, we give them an opportunity to tune individually. We always hold a drone on the concert F, let them play that concert F, and then they can tune their specific pitches, where a trombonist might choose to be on B-flat, a saxophonist to choose their concert A. It's so important that this warm-up is not viewed as a warm-up, but that you're thinking of it a little bit more as a set of ensemble skills, an opportunity to conduct, an opportunity to get their ears, to get their brains, to get their minds and their eyes focused on the task of music making. 
thank you for joining me and having us talk a little bit about the HD300 today. It's my hope that it can become a regular practice inside of your rehearsals.